Hello everyone, welcome to another End of the Void Real Review. This time we are reviewing the American Society of Magical Negroes. First off, this movie has a long title, so from here on out I will be referring to it as T-A-S-O-M-G. Let's get some facts out of the way. This is directed by Kobe Libby and stars Justice Smith. You probably would recognize Justice Smith from that Pokemon movie from several years back, or even the Dungeons and Dragons movie that was a year ago. Uh, around this time, I think it came out. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Another middling movie. Uh, but you can check out my review on that because I reviewed that one last year. So that's about all you need to know about facts as I will save you all some time from going and seeing this movie. I like Justice Smith as an actor. I think he has a natural charm and a nice guy charisma that lends itself well to any role he is in. The name needs a little updating, maybe like magical black people or I guess that doesn't have the same word. He's probably the best thing in this movie. This is a message movie first and foremost with not much else ticking underneath the hood. It gives you inklings throughout that there might be a rabbit that pops out of the metaphorical magician's hat but unfortunately that never happens in this movie. It's a little too one note for its own good and that's about it. The movie I feel isn't edited very well which is a whole different thing but we'll get to, into that later. The movie reminded me a lot in the beginning of the Harry Potter movies. Boy gets befriended by a magical friend who takes him to a secret magical world where there's a secret magical society that tries to teach Boy how to interact with the non-magical folk. Sound familiar? And even if the movie doesn't have a one-to-one -one correlation to the Harry Potter franchise, it still is reminiscent of it. But only in the beginning. Then it becomes a message film about how blacks are better off making white lives better because in the end, it will make their lives better. Throw in a love triangle and you have this movie in a nutshell. I really was hoping for something behind the curtain of the inner workings of this film, but it just wasn't there. All the time I'm thinking, surely the movie isn't trying to propagate that blacks need to appease white people's discomfort at the expense of their own happiness. I was thinking, where is this movie going? Be prepared to be underwhelmed by movie's end. There's a growth arc on the part of Aaron's, Justin Smith's character, but it's hardly relevant and it comes after an epiphany of sudden clarity that is conveniently tucked away just in time for the movie not to overstay its welcome. There's just not much to chew on in the end. This movie is not particularly funny except for a reference to Meatbox, a Facebook-like social media platform introduced early on or maybe closer to the middle of the film. Either way, that reference and Aaron's awkwardness around white people in the beginning are the only funny things in this film that stand out. American Fiction, which came out earlier this year, was a much funnier message film with more substance and overall better narrative to drive home its point. You're better served going to watch that film. I think you can still catch it streaming. I don't think it's out in the movie theaters. This isn't a nece this this isn't a necessarily a bad film. It's just a little undercooked in its ideas. Then the editing, it's a little bit rough in spots, or maybe it's just the way Kobe Libby shoots. There are a couple times where two people are t walking and talking, and the shots of the actors is they're super far away, and you're just hearing them talk, and they're like out in the distance, and you're like, "Hello." How's it going? <laughs> it's like they're way far away. I, I don't know why he does that. Maybe to, to get the a shot of the scenery and get uh, you know overall look of the environment in the shot. I don't know. But I usually don't notice things like that. But when I notice it, that's pretty bad. After all, I'm no editing expert or anything. But it stuck out to me like a sore thumb. But maybe that's just a me thing. Anyway, guys, you're better served watching this maybe at home on a slow day than the movie theater. It's not bad, but it's not really great either. This movie gets a 6 out of 10 from me. Hope you guys stay safe, and I will see you in the next review when we venture back into the void. See ya.